Welcome back to Cookie with Sean, where savory and spice makes everything nice. Today, we're going to cook a very quick meal. You ever been home and someone said to you, we're coming over in an hour? You have no idea what to cook, but you want to impress them? Well, today we're going to do a really quick guest uninvited meal, making some simple mussels that are absolutely incredible. We use a few ingredients. We have um, some onions, one small onion, about four cloves of garlic for the mussels, and another three to four cloves of garlic for the garlic bread, which we'll make at the end. Some fresh Parmesan cheese for the bread, some green onions for uh, a garnish, and of course, some wonderful uh, white wine. Use whatever type of white wine you like. My wife likes Sauvignon Blanc, so we use that today, and also use that to pair uh, with the mussels. So I'm going to take you over to the stove. We're going to start preparing the mussels for consumption. Nice little hard piece here. Just going to cut that piece off, move it to the side. And then we're going to apply a little anger to this piece of garlic, like smash. And you take the skin off. And that is how I get rid of my garlic. Let's do another one here. I've already taken off the hard part. Smash! A little garlic there, a little anger. Think about your childhood bully. Do that for all the garlic. And when you get them all peeled and nice and set, for some, I'm gonna keep them whole so I can put them through a garlic press for the um, garlic toast. And for others, I'm gonna actually gonna chop up and make enough garlic to put inside of the uh, pan for the mussels. So my daughter just said, Dad, what if I'm not strong enough to smash the garlic? Take a knife. Like that, same idea, it's done, garlic is done, all right? So smash your hands, if you got a little anger in you, or use the back of a knife, it always works well. We're gonna choose some for top for chopping and some for crushing. And I'll show you that technique in a second. All right, so for these, I'm gonna do a really, really, really rough chop on the garlic. I'm not looking for uniformity, I'm just looking for them to to be chopped roughly into the, uh, for the mussels, for more for flavor than anything. I'm gonna take these and put them right here with the onions. I know you should saute onions first and then do the garlic, but I really don't care because these are gonna be really quick. You don't have much time for your guests. So you're gonna put them all in there together. I'm gonna season them with some salt and pepper when they go into the, uh, the skillet. And for these, I'm gonna show you in a second how to do some really crushed garlic with a cheap tool. All right, simple. Skillet, olive oil. About two to three tablespoons, or whatever you desire. Give that nourish or a hook. We're gonna add the onions and garlic, a little crushed red pepper, some black pepper, white pepper, get that nice and happy. Add some white wine or water. I like the white wine, of course, so be on bronc. Sporting my son's Christmas gift. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, shawty boy. We're gonna make this up really quickly. Put the mussels in, let it steam for about three minutes. Stir it, another five minutes. And that's all you have to do. People will love it when they come over. Short, simple, sweet, and to the point. It is absolutely incredible. <laughs> all right, here we go. Ready? So yeah, olive oil is about hot enough. Want to get this incredible fragrance onions, garlic, some crushed red pepper. I like a lot, kind of spicy. Add some black pepper. minutes let that get soft onions get soft fragrant from the garlic allow some of those oils to release from the crushed red pepper and then we're going to add in our mussels so mussels have been cleaned scrubbed 
Those go in. White line. Again, Sauvignon Blanc. Someone told me a long time ago, only use the wine that you're willing to drink. So I always buy good wine products. You can finish it later on. Plus I know later this week I'm gonna be making some chicken and I like uh, white wine with chicken. So I'll get some good stuff. Allow that to steam. Turn my oven up to my uh, oven up to high and let that go. Now I'm gonna move on to the um, garlic butter oil for my garlic bread. I got my oven at about 425 degrees. I'm gonna toast some bread. And here I have about two tablespoons of, uh, two to three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of oil. And I'm gonna to add to that some crushed garlic and let that simmer for a bit. And use that to lightly smear the toasted bread. I'm gonna make a simple garlic oil. About four or five cloves of garlic in here into this garlic crush. That's it, I'm gonna take this and add it right to the oil and butter. Let that marinate, get all happy. Toast our bread and use that just to simply slather the bread. And it's a really simple, quick and easy garlic bread recipe. Turning your stove down to about a low simmer. You don't want to rush this, just let it just play with one another. Be happy. The bread at 425, you want to do a slow till so you can get really courageous and put it under a low broil. But make sure you check it or the bread will burn. I'm going to take this and toast my bread. I'm not going to put it on the top rack. I'm going to put it a little bit away from direct heat. Let that toast. At the same time, I'm going to take my mussels. They're starting to open. Mm. I just want to stir. Get some of the onions garlic, wine, to the top. I put a lot of mussels in here. My family is greedy. All right, put that back on, another two to three minutes. Remember, keep an eye on your toast. It will burn if you don't watch it. This is your garlic, oil, and um, butter. I'm gonna let that get nice and happy and then once I toast the bread I'm gonna put some of this on some of this garlic oil on the bread fresh shaved Parmesan put it back in a broiler really quickly for a um, couple minutes for like 30 seconds actually take it out mussels garlic bread in a bowl serving for family and friends it takes you no longer than 15 to 20 minutes and you are done and people are happy because it is absolutely incredible my daughter loves when i say that all right that's it bread is out it literally took less than a few minutes to brown so you really have to watch it i know i was i stressed that before you really have to stress watch how long you put that bread in i've made many mistakes in the past where the bread did not come out exactly how i wanted it mm-hmm mm -hmm. is that right lexi <laughs> All right, so this is this butter here is. I wish you could smell it. It's buttery. It's garlicky. It's everything that you want. And you can you can you know make it as garlicky as you want. If you look in here, there's a bunch of garlic still left that was crushed. This is not the the crush. This is not the chopped garlic. This is the crushed garlic. So the butter has absorbed all that good garlicky smell. And flavor so you can make it to your liking depending on your family I like a lot of butter so do my kids <clears throat> and then we're gonna take some freshly grated Parmesan much cheaper than buying 
the stuff that's already done for you. If you like to cook, you know that you have to be careful how much you spend at these places because you can spend a lot of money on stuff instead of doing it yourself. So I just take some garlic, some Parmesan here, as much as you like. Again, I have three kids, so they love cheese. Well, Nia, not cheese so much, but Lexi and Shalane like cheese, so. Yeah, I just do a lot, who cares? Cheese, bacon, butter, it's happy. And then literally, you gonna put this back in the oven for less than 30 seconds. Don't go more than 30 seconds or you're gonna ruin your toast and your friends will not be happy and you'll lose your chef card. All right, I'm gonna put this right back in the oven for literally 10 to like 25, 30 seconds. So today we made a simple game day meal. If you're an Alabama fan or a Buffalo Bills fan, we got a lot to celebrate this weekend. Mussels, garlic, onion, white wine, crushed red pepper, simple garlic oil and Parmesan toast. It was a pleasure cooking for you. Remember to check back next week where savory and spice makes everything nice. Peace.